You can support this show at patreon.com slash ASA podcasting. Welcome to a Skyrimatic podcast where I will discuss my adventures and misadventures through Skyrim. Join me. Add your stories, add your tales. Let's uh, let's get into this thing. Ah, welcome back. Today's episode, Skyrimatic Podcast. I am here, uh, Michael. Uh, Victor is here with me. Hey, hi, how are everybody? How's everybody doing? We are. Uh, I talk a little. Uh, you've had some computer issues. Um, I've had some issues trying to figure out a story for a character. <laughs> uh, it, it's just issues. Many Skyrim issues. I've had the issue of God of War has been in my way. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that issue blocking me. Um, but yeah, no, I've been trying to. Because um, uh, I, I still have that uh, Breton Mage that I. Basically, the story of that character was it was very simple. He's a Breton. He just wants to learn magic, so he wanders to the college to start that quest line and, and learn about magic. Uh-huh. Um, just very basic. But that was the one I found the uh, Meridius Beacon, but didn't oh. take it out of the chest yet. So I kind of want to figure out a story where this uh, character wants to learn about all the uh, Daedric prince and princesses, I guess, whatever you want to call them. All the uh, good and bad Daedric people. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I don't know if I want to... F- I guess after I grab the beacon, I guess the idea would be to go back to the college, try and go to the library, research, and then that's where the spark comes in to find and go um, find the rest of the, uh, you know, Daedric quests along the way. Um, that's kind of what yeah. I was thinking of I mean, doing. You could, you could, you know, do a few places and sessions and just see if the game hands you something. Skyrim mm-hmm. has a way of doing that. Yes, you know, hand, for sure. Hand you a reason to, to go, to go do something. Um, or, or you could, uh, you could perhaps, I mean, what's the most spontaneous of the daedric certainly not meridia's beacon but there's there are at least one or two that just sort of happen well that um, one's pretty spontaneous because you get the beacon randomly yeah but then she sort of just commands you to do yeah something, yeah you know, and, that's and, true and so uh mm-hmm. i mean there there are others like the boethia quest yeah or, or that just sort of kind of come upon you I mean, you can find some reason to do uh, it, either yeah. negative or positive, yeah. To to want to, uh, you know, which we call it up in uh, yeah. Dawn Star, yeah. Like for instance, I've I've uh, so so I'm I'm working on the on a character for the second season of of Skyrim Unbound, which is mm-hmm. Character Crusades' uh, uh, most recent sort of development in their in their sort of character um, creation um, workshop kind of podcast that they're doing, and. Uh, so this one is she's I'm calling her Atma. Uh she's an orc. Um uh, but she has all kinds of um so she she was born sort of slightly disfigured and discolored. She has patches of green skin on her mm. face, but the rest of her is kind of dark brown, so so she's been uh, kind of ridiculed and shunned for that and and she has she's small and and she has very specific uh um ideas about uh about her own uh role as an orc uh which aren't necessarily um in line with the patriarchal culture mm-hmm. um and also she's a a believer in the the idea that, and this is part of lore actually uh there was a an orc king back in i think the third era mm-hmm. uh who uh who decided that in fact Trinimac was not dead had not been consumed by Boethia and was still alive and that Malakath was a fake and so she's she's kind of subscribed to that and so she's completely shunned but one of the uh 
one of the things that I want to do with her, for instance, is uh, since she has no faith in Malakath and, and uh, I want her at some point to, to find a reason to do the, the, the Volendrung quest and then take okay. the hammer and throw it into the fires of the sky of the Ethereum forge, mm-hmm. which I thought would be kind of cool. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but but that's where I started running into trouble and and having having issues. I don't know if they're hardware or software issues or, or oh. what, I've, I've had all kinds of um, problems with my legacy version of Skyrim. It's just it would freeze and booting slowly and freeze while it's booting and then eventually boot into the game and and I just can't figure out what's going on with it. Uh, so I, I may have to do a complete reinstall. I, I really I'm really not sure yet. So. Um, oh yeah uh, thinking about it actually what we were talking about um azora star azora is probably the most organic that's true yeah because you come across that in uh the college you said you're a breton yeah 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 Yeah, so um, i'm going i'm part way through the uh mages college anyway so it Mm -hmm. seems like i would come across uh, azora's uh the issue with azora's uh star or that that quest with azora pretty uh pretty organically yeah totally um and and you come sort of come across nelikar organically as well in mm-hmm. in the in the frost fruit inn or whatever it is he's oh he's yeah. yeah yeah so, yeah just hanging out there in the room yeah making bad smells <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah now like uh mafala uh that's uh white run that's the white one the, the little... white run one if i'm correct yeah, the Jarl's with, son. With the son. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't trigger until much later, though. I, th- I forget what level you have yeah. to Yeah, I, I, I forget what level this character's at. But yeah, that, that one you actually have to go and seek it out and speak to someone and mm-hmm. have that trigger. So that that's a little... I think I would save that one for later when I'm actually on a quest to kind of do something. There's a... there's a are you, are you, Is this one of your PC games? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because there, there is actually a really excellent mod called Timing is Everything. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a pretty easy, easy going mod. It doesn't really. Uh, uh, it's by Cryptopier. She's been around okay. forever, and she did Trade and Barter and all kinds of other great oh. mods. But uh, it allows you to sit, to reset the levels on on a lot of things. Oh, okay. So it'll or, or what? It's one of the things it does. So it'll allow you access to the quests um, mm-hmm. earlier or later, depending on what you want to do. Exactly. Yeah. It's a little bit like a like a uh, a less uh, complicated version of Sky Tweak. Sky Tweak okay. will, you know lets you just sort of do everything, but um, timing is everything. Just just allows you to set not not just the quest levels, but also uh, I think the game clock and a few other small things. Um, I have it loaded on on this, mm-hmm. this on my latest one. Um, one one thing I, I actually before I forget to uh, to mention this, um, those who are regular users of the Nexus. So today is May tenth. Um, over the last few days, uh, Nexus has has been doing some updating, and um, a couple of days ago, uh, not just mod organizer, but but I think Nexus Mod Manager, I'm not sure how Vortex reacted to this. I, I'm sorry, Ray couldn't join us tonight. Um, but Nexus did a bunch of server updates, and mm-hmm. they may have been related to a lot of the Windows updates that have been happening in the last couple of weeks. I had a big one last night and, and another one just a week ago, and um, there's been all kinds of weird things going on. In fact, my BIOS updater is acting funny now. Uh, since the latest update, and I know Sean told me he had a major train wreck um, updating his BIOS, and it bricked his machine, and he had to go get a copy of his old BIOS from oh, geez. his wife's machine, and and burn it onto a USB drive. And I mean, luckily he knows what he's doing, so he was able to recover stuff. But there've been lots of things going on in the security slash Windows world, and I don't know if the Nexus stuff had anything to do with that, but whatever the upshot was that particularly for legacy mod organizer stopped being able to log into the Nexus. Hmm. And I believe Nexus mod manager was having issues for a while. And again, like I said, I don't know anything about vortex. 
So there are solutions out there. So for, for anybody who, uh, who is having trouble um, using the download from Nexus button in particular, which I never do. So that wasn't part of my issue. It was simply mod organizer was not logging in when, when you, uh, um, so just for those who, who are sort of mildly interested or not, you can go get a cup of coffee if you're not. <laughs> uh, the way I handle mod organizer for legacy is I download mods manually. I put them in a, in a directory and then I throw them into the downloads directory of mod organizer. And then I run a query info on them, which is something you can do. Mm-hmm. from within the game within uh, mod organizer and that uh, i don't install them by using the the uh, install file option i i throw them directly into the downloads directory so they appear in the tab okay. and then i then i query the info there and for me that really works because it doesn't otherwise things get confused uh the download button doesn't know where to download to whether it's nexus mod manager or mod organizer yeah. or it gets confused between versions and version numbers get screwed up so that's that's the sort of the workflow that i've developed for myself and it, it works well it sounds cumbersome but it actually goes very quickly, goes quickly. Uh, but if mod organizer can't log on into the nexus then it can't do the query info function so um i knew something was going on when when it stopped logging in and this because this has happened a couple of other times over the last few years Mm -hmm. um and so there is a solution for anybody who who is having this trouble and it involves uh getting into your system 32 folder and editing a file in there now if you're worried or scared about doing stuff like that then uh don't (laughs) yeah yeah good good advice Uh, but if if it doesn't scare you, um, then here's what you do. Uh, I'm going to just pull up my uh, – I use uh, Notepad++ here. You open a file called hosts that's in the uh, system32 slash driver slash et cetera directory, and you add a line. Now, we can – I can throw the line into our show notes for, mm-hmm. for – or whatever, uh, or you can look it up. Um, on the web there's plenty of ways to search up this, the solution for this okay so for anybody who's using mod organizer 1.3.11 which is the standard version to use for legacy skyrim there's there are newer versions of version 2.1 which is very stable and good for skyrim se and for fallout 4 but for legacy skyrim 1.3.11 is is uh is the standard and you should know that uh, the people who, uh, and possibly even Ten, and I'm not sure who did the update. There is actually a new update, brand new, came out yesterday or the day before, 1.3.12. But from what I've read in the posts, it is not stable. It doesn't work correctly. Huh. So this little edit to your hosts file, which is actually, if any, for anybody who wants to know, it's the file that you would do if you wanted to open ports um, in your router and you wanted Windows to know what ports are, are safe and what ports are not, this is the file you use to do that. It's generally an empty file unless you edit it yourself. So it's not something you're not going to break your machine by adding a, a line to it. But the line that you add will fix the problem in uh, Mod Organizer 1.3.11 and Nexus Mod, Mod Manager from okay. what I've read. So you won't have to update uh, the actual programs this line in your little hosts file will, will work just fine. So I, I did it earlier just before hmm. the show and it works perfectly. Oh, that's good. So it fixes the issue with both yeah. of them. So I tested yeah. it before. Yeah. And so it does, it does fix the issue. So that's just something in case people who are listening to this uh, have been having problems with, with their NNM or MO not being able to log in or not being able to download via the download button. That oh, okay. is why. Um, and so, but Having solved that, I still haven't solved my other issues. <laughs> so. That really sucks. Are they more hardware related? You think? I don't know. It's weird. It just started acting up about a week and a half ago when I was building you know, some. And I, I do, you know. Granted, I have a lots and lots and lots of mods in in my Skyrim folder, and and so it's possible I should move those uh, uh, mods out. Uh, and just clear out the, mm-hmm. the thing. I mean, you know, it's possible. It's just there's just too much cruft 
um, kicking around. I mean, I use mod organizer, so my data data folder is is pretty much clean. Clean, yeah. But there's a lot of other stuff that's processing behind the scenes there, and I I think that may have something to do with it. Okay. Um, I may try just deleting all of the Skyrim base files and re reloading them. Um, but I have the feeling it's just a legacy. It's just dust in my attic, you know. It just I just haven't cleaned out the um, all the cruft in quite a long time, and and that's just causing causing issues. Yeah, um, it's made me think seriously about uh, you know moving over to SE now that SKSE sixty four is out is of that- alpha, out of beta. It is a stable version, um, and a lot of mod authors are beginning to a lot of the mods are now starting to really trickle in to se a lot of the stuff that was sort of on hold um i mean there's even now for anybody who's interested uh race menu which is one of you know sort of the go-to mods for creating more interesting looking characters Mm -hmm. um it's very granular it takes you down deep into the little you know menus there is a there is now a an alpha version that you that you need, and you need to manually uh, build it, but there's lots of tutorials out there to do it. Uh, you need to manually put it together to work in SE, but it's there. It's it's starting to work. So stuff like that's happening in SE now, and so okay. uh, you know maybe it is time to to move over there and 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 bite the bullet and create this character. <laughs> on, you know, in there, um, it's certainly more stable. I just I just there's so many mods left that just aren't available for SE that I love that I don't want to lose that you want to use. And yeah, yeah. they're part of my regular rotation, you know, all the good stuff from Eni Shion that's all available over there, but the, there's so many little things that just SKE SE plugins and stuff that, that uh, just aren't available. I mean, there's Mm -hmm. over 50,000 mods available for legacy Skyrim and there's what 18 or 20,000 available for SE. So it's just, yeah. yeah, there's no, no comparison. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while for that to to really balance out in any way. I think so. Yeah, um, and uh, so I mean, so yeah, let's just talk about playing the game instead of mods. <laughs> uh, I've I've uh, I haven't been doing much of that. So so how's your character doing? Well, the character is stalled, still waiting for the uh, to grab that uh, Meridius beacon out of the chest because. I, I don't want to trigger it until I, because I'm going to use that for the audio let's play also. Oh, cool. So th- that's why I kind of wanted to have a story with it. And I, I just needed to figure out something for the, um, the Daedric quests and, and looking through them quickly, I pulled up the UESP. Um, like, yeah, Boethia is level 30. Um, Azura is level one. So that, that's pretty organic right there in mm-hmm. uh, Winterhold. Um, even though the the final battle of Zora's quest is certainly not a level one. No, battle. no. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's just a requirement of level one to be able to yeah. get to it. Um, let's see. Uh, Clavicus Vile is a level 10. Um, that's pretty organic, too, if you're wandering through Falkreath. It just kind of happens. Yep. Um, oh, Hermaeus Mora. I'll come across that from the college, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that one will, will kind of go pretty easy. Malakath is uh, just kind of wander across it. As that, that's easy enough to kind of come across. I, I can figure out a way to get there because it's uh, just that orc uh, area right outside of Riften. Right, you yeah. kind of come across. Um, what about mi- Perry? Uh, that that's level I twelve. To... So okay. So I I could probably work that. Oh, you do come with Perryite, don't you? Come across people on the road. Yeah, that's what I meant. I wasn't yeah. sure when, when they start appearing. I, I it must I don't be even to level twelve. Go yeah. up there is cash there before you hit the level level requirement. Yeah, that's or a good is question. Not appear? I don't think I've ever gone up there that early, so yeah. I, I'm not sure. Mm. Um, it does say it's a level level twelve requirement, so maybe he's there, but um, the dialogue mm. options aren't there. Right, he won't talk to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Moloch Ball, of course, level one. Um, where you, so if so if I'm going to Markarth, say I hear about something like going on there, or I'm you know I end up in Markarth for whatever reason, uh, that would make a sense make sense to come across that. Or what about what about um, 
Sheogoroth. I mean, that one's... Oh, that's a level one also. That's level one. And, and there's and plenty of books on it as well. Yeah, and, and it doesn't really... It's not a really difficult thing, but it's the kind of thing where you could certainly... Um, come out of it with a you know even though you have the wabajack you, you come out of it with rather a negative feeling about daedric princes yeah if you, <laughs> if you want to take it in that direction that is sure. true so, yeah for sure yeah. you definitely do <laughs> this sucks i'm gonna i'm gonna get become a really powerful mage and and, and take and, them all out know, <laughs> take them all on yeah 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 the only one i, I think i'll have uh it'll be intriguing how i do it is um which we call it? Why can't I remember the name now? Nocturnal. Yeah, you can only get to that through the thieves guild because I'm going to have to do the thieves guild to get to yeah. it. So I got to figure out how to kind of work that one in. So so I'll probably save that one for more towards the end. There's also, I mean, for uh, you know, uh, not to bring mods back mm-hmm. into it, but to bring mods back into it. Uh, there's a relatively new mod, I. Th- think it's available for both se and, and legacy um called thieves guild for good guys oh interesting yeah check it out uh, it, it that. may or may not fill your your uh, uh requirements let me i'm gonna just look it up here yeah because it may allow me to get to that quest without doing a whole lot of thieving <laughs> I, I think that's the idea that's the whole idea yeah. of it um and um, let's see, it came out uh, last year, last June. So the little tagline is, ever wanted to join the Thieves Guild without sending people to jail or bullying people for money? Want to call it, want to tell Maven off? Want Yolan to like you without having to lie to her about the Thieves Guild? Want to be a Robin Hood type thief? <laughs> uh, and so that's, that's it. Um, so there were a few bugs. Looks like the, the author is uh, not hugely active the last update was back last october um but uh it might be it might be worth worth giving it a try um doesn't say oh and it does require thieves guild requirements uh which is a very stable and excellent mod that's also by crypt appear so you'd have to install that too um i don't see anything here about brand new game um but uh yeah join the thieves guild without intimidating people so so in other words if you're a, a reasonably like a you know a neutral good or whatever you know mm-hmm. mage and, and you don't want to uh uh yeah it would allow you to uh get in get the get through that quest line in a different way because yeah. there's not too much of a way to go about it other than um going through it you know yeah um so it sounds like it does it does it does a fair amount of sort of rejiggering of of the quest i don't see anything in the description about nocturnal and 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 of course the thing about the the nightingales is that they are even though they're part of the thieves guild they're sort of a uh, in some ways a do good organization so it's certainly if you want to if you're still wanting to play a you know a, a a more good alignment in your character than then that fits fits pretty well uh that might work out work out nicely yeah that's um, true yeah i have to look and see maybe i wonder if there's a just a straight up uh nocturnal um mod kind of that, that allows a workaround for that although you have to i don't know because it's so wrapped up in that quest it is, yeah. I'm not sure you can you can get yeah. there by a shortcut. Yeah, um, because of how how the um, what we call it the uh, lock pick and all uh, works into it. I, it that would be awfully cumbersome to unwind. Yeah, you still have to get it back from from uh, Mercer, Mercer. Yeah, Mercer Frey. Frey yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, that may be one I have to like save for the end, where I'm after I've gone through the uh, all the data requests. It's my final one, and I've discovered where it is, and I have to go undercover, maybe or something. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of work and it that way. You can still use and and the the thieves guild requirements uh, mod is is really very good. So I would I would again, but that, are you I forget are you playing in SC or Legacy? Uh, this one's on SC. So oh well, then yeah, you these neither of these may work uh, in that. Um, 
uh, I know I'm almost certain Thieves Guild requirements is not available in SC, and this one, he does not provide a link for an SC version, so um, I don't think there is. I'm just going to go over to the SC page here um, and see, but... Uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I just popped over to SE, and the Immersive College of Winterhold is now available in oh. SE. That's something I've been waiting for. Uh, that's my favorite uh, Winterhold uh, mod. It's awesome. Oh, okay, really, cool. really good. Uh, and I can't tell if it's a port by somebody else or if it's the original author. The original. Um, uploaded by Granty Boy. Doesn't sound familiar. Let's see. Um, let's see. Skyrim. Nope. He is the original author oh, of, cool. of the mod. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's a great mod. Um, and I think if you want to give it a try, you probably can load it into a, a, uh, an existing game. An existing game. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe uh, I'll take a look at it and read through it and make sure. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm I'm about halfway through um, the Mage's College, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, where where I'm sitting at. Um, all it says is if you have items in the Vanilla College, remove them before installing. Okay. So if you're storing stuff there. Oh, okay. No, I'm not storing anything there. So yeah. Um, it doesn't say anything about having to having to start it with a new game, but it's it does add some really cool new spaces to to the mm. College of Winter Hall. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, because I'm kind of using that as a as a base anyway, since I'm like, you know, my player is it, or my character is just immersed in the college itself. Yeah, so totally. yeah, yeah. So I figure it, it'll work well. I can mix it in with the uh, college quests and. Um, with some of the books that I get for uh, what's his name um, down in the basement. Why can't I remember his name? Uh, the orc, <laughs> the librarian, whatever his name is. Uh, it's a uh, orag uh, or shub or something. Yeah, like that. that's yeah. it. That is actually it. Your your orag, yeah, your orag groshub. Groshub, yeah. yeah. So I figure I can work it in with that and uh, just yeah. in generally reading in the library itself. Um, uh, oh yeah, night to remember. I can just wander into a the bar in uh in uh why can't i remember any, how am i not does remember? that have a level requirement because that I does that's a that's a level 14 so he oh. won't he won't be there until until then so um all right well here here i found the thieves guild for good guys is available for se and mm. um in the description, it doesn't say anything about requiring Thieves Guild requirements. Oh, nice. So his SE version must have removed whatever Re need there was for that. So it, okay. so it is available for SE. I am um, definitely going to take that. Take a look at that. What, what's that one called? Uh, Thieves Guild for Good Guys? Thieves Guild for Good Guys hyphen Taking Care of Business Redux. Okay. <laughs> that's the full name of the model. <laughs> that's, quite a, that's quite a name. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I'm going to definitely take a look at that because that would make a lot more sense. Um, I mean, I could work the other angle, the undercover angle and all that, but then I'd still have to do bad stuff that it's not really necessarily part of the storyline. It doesn't really um, make a whole heck of a lot of sense to yeah. do, you know. Well, I would say read the posts because I'm just sort of skimming them right mm -hmm. now, and there seems to be some general uh, complaints about various things not working. So... Uh, so read through the post yeah. and, and see if see if there's people. A lot of times people complain because they haven't read the description properly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got to weed through those like anything. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And I'll be saving that one for later on anyway. So yeah. even so, it should give me like uh, plenty of time for it to, uh, you know, uh, to straighten out, to work any bugs out and things like that. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I would figure – july or august by the time i was able to get through all oh, of wow. them unless i sit down and really really bang them out you know yeah because it is uh, quite a few quests i mean some of them aren't very long uh to be fair some are longer than others but uh 
Yeah, the, yeah, the the Boethia thing takes a while, mm-hmm. and and there's a couple of others that that do take you know a fair amount of time. Sanguine's to, Rose, so. you're kind of bouncing around a bit, takes a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, um, that's basically the Hangover. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I never do it though. It's funny. I I always avoid it, and I'm not really sure why. I guess it's just because it is kind of tedious, and and it's supposed to be. It's funny the first once or twice you do yeah. it, and then yeah, yeah after that, it's it is just, a pretty good staff you get though mm-hmm. i mean Agreed. you know you yeah. do get to conjure a pretty high level uh follower we'll say yeah uh, or daedra we'll say and uh so you know that, that at level 14 that's that's pretty solid actually there's another one that we haven't talked about that might actually also be a good entry point for the for the daedrix and that's that's um uh, the Arander quest, um, the, uh, the, uh, the death skull or the, the skull of corruption. Um, what's her name? Vermina. Oh, the Vermina quest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Cause yeah. that, that, that happens pretty early. You can, you, you can, can be level one. Early. Yeah. Um, it's not too far from winter hold. That's true. And you kind of just come across it as you're talking to people. Yeah, and it gives you a, an option to either go the good route or the bad route. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that'd be a, that might be a, a good entry entry point. So, and, and of course, he's one of my favorite followers. So that is uh, true. If you want to pick up a good, follower, yeah, he would be a good follower to be able to go through the other quests as well mm-hmm. and kind of yeah. go on the journey together. It would make a lot of sense to get because we clear up the town and then you're able to go on the journey together through the other. Right, other places. Yeah. So, I did, I did him on. I forget which one was it. One of my Skyrim fits and starts uh, series. Um, it's it's on my it's on my my YouTube channel. I I I early on. I think I I did it. I did it did like level two or three because I wanted to get around her, and I was like totally into it. And I <laughs> was chatting away and talking, and and I. Uh, and you know, we did the quest and we went out and I'm talking about how great Arander is and, and I forget where we went, but the, the, the whatever the first dungeon was I went into, I killed Arander. And oh so, yeah. God. <laughs> um, and, uh, I forget it was, I think I it was in a live stream or something. I don't think one of Adam and, and, uh, Adam might've been watching that one. I don't remember. It was, it was pretty funny, but, uh, I felt, I felt bad, uh, but, but so all all that for nothing. Poor Arander just sort of died. Um, it might have even been uh, Le- Bleak Falls Barrow, I think, because I I did it even before that. Oh wow, wow, yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Bleak yeah. Falls. I, I never would have thought of bringing him through there, but that would be pretty fun. Mm-hmm. It was fun. Um, but I, and I'm and you know I always run a follower mod. I had just forgotten to set him to essential, and, mm-hmm. and he died. So. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, that would be actually Vermina would be a great jumping off point. Like I'll probably pick up the um, start the story by picking up Meridia's Beacon, where that kind of piques the interest, and I can head back to the college and do a little investigation. Yeah, I'll be interested to know. Like we, like I think we were talking about last time, uh, whether it's still there when you go back. Because I think I've I've avoided it before, but I've never actually gone yeah. back to. Look well, to see if I haven't there. left the area. Oh, like oh. all I did was like I, I went into the chest. I saw it sitting there. I picked the other stuff out and just left that there. So yeah. I'm literally the last save is me just standing right at oh, the chest. Oh. So it, it, that shouldn't be an issue. It, it should still be there without issue. I would assume that, yeah, it would repopulate somewhere else if you didn't pick it up out of the chest. I think so. But, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't honestly know. I've never, I've never tested that. So it'd be... Yeah, I don't know either, actually. I've never – because I've always just grabbed it out of there. <laughs> well, you could always just you know keep a save there and then just go wander around for a day or two, just sort of farting around, and then come back and see you know. You know yeah, because I have that save anyway, so I could see yeah. what happens. Yeah, because yeah. it's uh, I found it in uh, one of those. Oh gosh, I just hit my mic into my face. Uh, <laughs> one of those um, bandit uh, caves, uh, like um, west of uh, White Run. I can't remember the one. White River Watch. No. No, west like on the plains, west of it. Um, east or west? No, west. Oh, west. Yeah, west is yeah, west is left. Yeah, yeah, okay. to the left, uh, <laughs> to the left of yeah. White Run, uh, Altered Dream or Silent Moons or something. One of those. It was one of the. Yeah, it, it, it's one of the ones you always go into. Um, yeah. It's one where there's a bandit chief at the bottom of the hill at the bottom of the dungeon, and you That's can kind of stream. Yeah, yeah, you can. No, 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 not halted stream, not that one. 
Um, you can see him through a hole and kind of a wall, and he's sitting by a campfire. Oh, Redoran's Retreat. That's it. Redoran's yep. Retreat, yeah. yeah. God, I, I'm embarrassed at how, how yeah, anyway. Yeah, because Haldit's Stream is the, um, uh, what's the uh, spell? Transmutate. The, tra- transmute. Yeah, transmute, yeah. yeah. And that's actually more north than west, yeah. Yeah, that's like due north. Yeah. yeah. Um, As I uh, cough. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's like uh, straight due north. Yeah, yeah, just to the east of uh silent moons right yep yep i haven't been through those um there's that one cave to like the northeast by uh that little and there's a it's like a big falmer cave what the hell is that one called i forget but um volundrung is that where that is that the one or volunrood or or, uh, or something the one that's north of halted stream uh it's like due east of halted stream actually um, south of, um, on the other side of the mountain from where, God, where those, all those mages are. Um, hmm. it's like Southwest of all time towers. I forget the name of it, but it's a, it's a big, uh, it's one of the former ones you come across in that area, which is unusual too. There, there's not a ton in that area. Yeah, well, there's a cave underneath. Well, let's see, southwest of Valheim. Um, is that like? Is it the one that's underneath the uh, ritual stone? Mm, there's a cave be. under the ritual stone, which actually I think is usually just populated with animals. Like, no, this is a pretty big one. Let me pull up a yeah. map. Why? Why am I not pulling up? I'm on the UASP. Like I could just pull up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take like five seconds. Yeah. Oh, uh, dark water. It's not. It's. it's uh, uh, is it dark water? It might be dark water. It's. It's not dark water crossing or, or something. It's. It's sometimes it's vampires and sometimes it's Falmer. I think it changes. shimmer mist. Shimmer mist. Oh, shimmer mist. That's no, what I was thinking of. It's okay. actually. I got turned around a little bit. It's northwest of uh, Valheim. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. you cross. It's like if you cross the plains directly across from from uh, White Run. Yeah, you cross the yep. road and go up towards uh, Felglow Keep. It's up in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Felglow is what I was trying to think of. Yes, they're yeah. they're due north of Valheim, not south. I don't, I don't know why I was yeah. thinking south. Um, yeah, Shimmer Mist. That that's yeah. what I was thinking of. Um, I didn't re- actually. I didn't realize now that I have the map pulled up. I didn't realize how far north Lorius Farm is. Yeah, that's like right due north. I I get a little turned around in that area on the back side of White Run, and I keep I for some reason I don't think of that as going due north when I'm on that side of it. But yeah, 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 and it's definitely Redoran's Retreat is where um uh, where I found where it came up this time. Where, yeah, and that one's definitely yeah. west. Yeah, yeah it's like why, directly due west. Although no, it wasn't Swindor's Den. That's too far west. No, it, it was Redoran's Retreat. Yeah, that's almost think, that's yeah. almost to Rorik's Den. Yeah, Swindor's Den's pretty far. It's on the other side of the mountain. Um yeah. uh past uh like where all those wolves and um I think there's a, a dragon uh dragon mound there as Somewhere well. Out there, yeah, there is, like yeah. on the base of that little mountain that kinda pops up in the middle there. So mm-hmm. yep. but yeah, I figure I can uh once I get the beacon then that can kind of I don't have to go right to do Meridia's beacon, I can do a little research first since that will be what this character wants to do and make a lot of sense. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Find, find a book in the, in the Arcanium mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah. Too look, bad you can't ask sort of random questions. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it seems like maybe like uh, the dar- darkest darkness would be the best book to find or something like that. I think it just gives a basic rundown and then there's books for, I think each of the uh, good and bad Daedra. I'm sure there are. I, I rarely read the books. I've listened to some of Stephen's yep. podcasts, but I, I, I rarely read them. I oh. collect them, but I don't read them. Yeah, me too. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of uh, Stephen's podcast, um, it is uh, part of a mod now, right? Yes. Uh, is it? Yeah. Let's see. I, I just had it pulled up. Audiobooks of Skyrim in Nexus Mods. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I thought that was awesome. So that is pretty awesome. Yeah. So the full audio archive uh, from Skyrim Book Club is up there. 
Yeah, so everybody should go to his uh, YouTube channel too, Skyrim Book Club, because he does some nice Let's Plays. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, he was. Too. He did one for Earth Day, which was pretty fun. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> and he's been doing some other streaming. It's Skyrim Book Club YouTube dot com. I don't know what the URL is. Uh, I don't think yeah, he has. I don't I like me. I don't think he quite has a hundred subscribers. Yeah, so a custom URL. So go subscribe. Uh, look up Skyrim Book Club and then go subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe him up. Hit him up. Get him up to a hundred. Yep. You could probably just go to uh, SkyrimBookClub.ca. That's his website anyway. I'm, I'm sure there's a link on there for the YouTube channel. And then subscribe yeah. so you can change that YouTube URL. <laughs> just like you can go to my yes. website called TheOpen.World where you can find links to all of my stuff too. Hint, hint, hint. Um, yeah. Make sure you do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it now. And oh then, no! Wait, no! Wait, wait till we're done. Yeah, yeah. well, don't then do it. it. Yeah, just hold on. Well, and if you're listening, you can do it. But uh, yeah, so that was I. I I brought those up because I wanted to. I, I wanted to mention that anyway. That worked out perfectly. Yeah. So check out uh, what, what Steven's been doing. He's been doing some good playthroughs and uh, yeah. download the uh, audiobooks of Skyrim mod, which I may do. That would be awesome, actually. And then I'll have to check with him. I don't want to s- steal his audio in uh, the Let's Play. So. <laughs> Yeah. But, oh, he also did a Let's Play. If you've never listened to Let's Play Skyrim, uh, he did do a Let's Play Skyrim. Uh, it was one of the past seasons. Yeah, it, Dawnguard. It was the Dawnguard playthrough, and it was his it was first excellent. time through Dawnguard, yeah. yeah. It was uh, before Pat's play of uh, Fallout New Vegas with Arthur, uh, mm-hmm. so it was uh, previous to that. So yeah. when we were Skyrim only over there, and then we, now we're kind of switched. I, I have to get on the ball because I've been saying I'm going to do these Daedric ones, and I've been messing around with this stupid story, and haven't quite come up with uh, what I wanted. But I, I think I have a much better idea now, actually. Cool. And, and have a little more time because I don't have m- as much going on the next uh, month or two that I'm aware of. I'm sure a million things will pop up. But <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to do another one, too, and see maybe we can do a, like a still slightly shorter one. You know, we we'll start doing some of the, the modded ones, maybe Helgen Reborn. Oh, that would be awesome, or, yeah. Or Vigilant. Vigilant gets a little long. Does uh, it? So deep into um uh, uh uh damn it what's the uh not cold water um whatever um mm. daughters of anyway it gets into oblivion and, and goes just inter interminably uh <laughs> through, through a lot of that it's a good it's a great mod but mm. but uh, i don't think it would make that great an audio let's play ah uh, yeah yeah, I figure the Daedrix are, are pretty good because I, I can mm-hmm. go through all those. Uh, we haven't done those yet. Yeah. Um, I gotta see. I gotta look back and see which we've done. I know you did the companions. Yep. Um, we did the. I think I did the thieves guild. Uh, Colin did the mages. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stephen obviously. Andrew, Andrew did bards. Oh, Andrew did bards. Um, Stephen did Dawnguard. Um, so nobody's done Dragonborn yet. Did I do Dragonborn right after the main quest originally? <laughs> Maybe you did, yeah. Might have done main quest, then right to Dragonborn with the same character. It's possible. Yeah. I would have to go back and look. I really don't remember, <laughs> yeah. to be perfectly yeah. honest. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to remember that. Um, I, I think we, we've had a pretty good amount. We may not have done this. Did we do the Civil War? We may not have done that. Actually, no. That's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of fetch like type. Not even fetch quests, but like go here type quests yeah i think it would have to be well edited yeah um, and it might be more fun to do it in, in sort of a modded modded play yeah but, that kind um, of yeah enhances the experience a bit yeah yeah because it's a lot of go run to meet your team over here and do the battle <laughs> yeah well there's still you know civil war overhaul which is the the huge um very ambitious uh, sort of reworking of the, of the Civil War quest line, and really does need to be done as a standalone. You can't just sort of load it into a into a modded game and then mm-hmm. do it at, at some point during that playthrough. It re- you really have to sort of purposefully load it up and just do only that because it, be, because I mean I think anybody who knows who's played this game much at all knows that the Civil War is probably the the most both pernicious and, <laughs> and uh, um, it's got its fingers in every little yeah. bit of, of the game. So if, if anything gets screwed up, uh, it's going to be that. Um, 
And so the Civil War overhaul mod is great, and it and it adds a lot of content, but yeah, it really needs to be done as a standalone. So that might be fun, um, but it's also a very visual one because he add he is a, what's the name of the modder uh, manga club? It, in fact, it, was it manga club? No, it's somebody else. Um, one of those guys pulled all all of his mods off the Nexus when when a certain person got elected in. Uh, uh-huh. about, in November of a certain year. Uh, yeah, it was really stupid. Frankly, I apologize. I'm sorry. That was, that was judgmental, but, but, uh, you know, okay. Yeah. Politically, I, I'm not, you know, whatever it's, whatever. You yeah. Got. I'm not sure what the mods have to do. <laughs> exactly. It was like, it was a sort of protest is kind of an empty protest at that. Uh, but so I'm not even sure if it, uh, Apollo, Apollo down, I think is the mod hmm. author's name. So it may or may not be available any anymore, but it is a great mod. There's lots of, of really cool content in it. Giants. I mean, the, you know, you get giants in the battles and armored giants and things like that. It's really, it's really nifty. Hmm, uh-huh. That seems interesting. Oh yeah, it's great. I mean, a lot of the stuff that he added into it was actually in, you know, he found it coded into the, into the original coding of Skyrim, but they had, pulled it out because it was just too much because you know the game was optimized for consoles there's uh, you know that's that's the bottom line they pulled a lot of content out of it in order to make it run better on the 360 so um some of that stuff he pulled back into it's like cutting room floor it's the same arthmore's cutting room floor a lot of that stuff that's all original content it's just brought back by a modder it's not stuff that's made up by by somebody it was all there in the original yeah it was in there originally yeah so a lot of what uh, Apollo Down did with, uh, I think that's his name, uh, with the Civil War overhaul is stuff that was either unfinished or he found deep down in the coding of the game and just, or, and tried to bring back. So um, uh, it is a very cool mod, uh, but it is notoriously game breaking if you're not if you don't do exactly what he said you have to start it with a new game you cannot start it with you know you cannot load it halfway through you know just follow his instructions to the letter and and play through the quest line and then go on to another character yeah you i know? mean it's just yeah. so intertwined with everything yeah. yeah so i mean it's it's tangled into every hold and everything else so everything yeah yeah completely yeah so um and it's like playing on, you know, when you use the, the, the alternate start mod on bound, which is, is awesome uh, because you can actually turn dragons off in there, but, but you have to be very careful what quests you trigger after that, because, you know, and, and the mod author has taken a lot of steps to, to avoid those train wrecks by turning things off and by starting you at a, at certain points and, uh, but it's still possible to, to, to screw things up if you're not careful. So, um, in fact, I did that with, with, uh, I, I used that for my, I think for my companions one, Malachi. Oh, okay. Uh, um, and he became, I, I turned him into a dragonborn sort of partway through that companions playthrough. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but he started out without, without dragons, completely without dragons. Yeah. I do like um, playing without without dragons quite a bit it's fun because you can also play with unbound anyway you can play as that's right because he was a follower of the way of the voice so he he was a more like a gray beard than a dragon ah, that makes so sense. He, yeah. he would learn the he would learn the shouts by praying and so on um and you can do that with unbound you can you know the word walls work but you don't have to absorb dragon souls you can just learn the shouts by standing at the word wall and you can role play that very easily by doing i don't know by meditating for for two days or something starving yourself whatever any any little role playing yeah um, yeah you know mechanic you want to use uh and uh it works pretty well Hmm. um so um, oh well since we were were talking about story in general um if we remember the uh people who've been listening for a while the mac mcbeta stories um Mm -hmm. So uh, David started writing them again. They are on uh, actually all his past stories as well are on um, macbetas.wordpress.com. I think they've always been over there. As a matter of fact, m a c b e d a s dot wordpress.com. Uh, so he just picked up again. He just I was talking to him the other day, and he let me know um, 
like kind of oh, early cool. May. He there's there's three new ones on there, I believe. Uh, Good. Where because if you remember, uh, there was multiple characters, but McBeta was the original one, and then he that was the character he moved from Skyrim to ESO, and then I think to Oblivion. Oh wow! So he moved them multiple times it, and used story to move them into the different games as well. Um, uh, so it kind of picks up uh, that story again, uh, I guess, back in uh, Skyrim, back in the world, <laughs> after, after being, uh, I believe, rescued by his sister, Muskeji, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's uh, one, I think there's three new ones on there, two new ones um, oh. that showed up in so, May here. So I'll go check them out. So he had a, a bit of a break from August of last year until May of this year, but... Uh, yeah, there's the House Carl story, uh, McBeta in Skyrim, McBeta in Oblivion from Skyrim via ESO. <laughs> uh, let's see, Rummage Around the City, which is the latest, and a Rummage Around a City, which is the latest, and Awaken Alive in Devon's Watch is where he starts back up for uh, where he starts McBeta back up. So cool. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at it right now. It's it's, it's the the WordPress. Uh, site yes yeah, yeah. Uh, blackstone chronicles yeah just a very basic yeah. wordpress site with just the uh the text of the stories on it, it so um if you had heard those in the past uh mcbeta is still kicking around yeah. um i think he took a bit of a break from skyrim so um and for folks like me it's uh, i have it up on a very big screen and it's very easy to read <laughs> <laughs> yeah he writes well too so yes it's, it's, it's yeah. good yeah the very well, interesting comes back to the to the to the group too because it was always fun to yes yeah you know. i don't think he's been playing for a while as he said other th- uh, i guess other stuff going on but yeah. uh you know we all get pulled back in Absolutely. <laughs> we take our breaks and then we get pulled back in <laughs> yeah. some of us never go away yeah and, that's true yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean i'm only taking a break because i happen to be playing god of war uh otherwise i wouldn't be taking a break i would just be playing again and i've only really been taking a break since like the end of april um because I played like the entire week I was away on vacation, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, on, on my downtime um, in the evenings and stuff like that. We, yeah, we had the laptop there, and Connor had to switch, so we had a we had a ton of Skyrim going. On. Nice. <laughs> so it's not like I've had that long of a break in, yeah. in the grand scheme. A couple weeks isn't exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually planning on if I can stabilize this this game. I'm planning on spending a lot of this the next three days because the the character crusade the first episode of oh season yeah it was coming up on monday and they're going to do their live stream so i want to get my character yep. uh, and for anybody who hasn't you know a shout out to them they do great content yeah, for sure and, uh and this one this season is play anything you want just make sure that on monday the whatever the date is going to be on this coming monday you are at this specific location in skyrim mm-hmm and the way to find that location is to watch the little video of his character walking there. He they won't tell you where oh, it is. Oh, cool, cool. To watch her walking there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's so, a Couch Warrior TV on YouTube, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and um, CharactersCrusade.com is, is the is there is site. Their website. Right. Okay. So, um, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, check their stuff out. They have great story stuff for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and lots of wonderful ideas for uh, creating characters. Lots of great mechanics and and thoughts on how to how to create a character from scratch or you know, randomly. And they have a really active Discord uh, mm-hmm. server too. So um, if you're into, I have a hard time following it sometimes, but it's a, it's a good group of people yeah. over there, and they do a lot of interesting discussions. That's so. awesome. Yeah, I came across an ESO. Obviously, I don't play ESO, um, so I'm kind of lost on it, but uh, it seemed pretty good. Uh, it was uh, Lore Seekers, so I don't know. I might okay. reach out to them because um, they seem to have the same uh, kind of demographic. <laughs> oh, cool. O- older people. <laughs> yeah, with all due respect to ESO, I can't get into it either. Yeah, I me either. Uh, but yeah. I find the, the sort of. Yeah, just the, M- the MMO. Um, vibe just doesn't suit my play style yeah me kind of game same thing me too yeah and like obviously juan plays colin i know still plays and we have other people to play yeah Yeah. people do uh keith plays a lot yes that's right keith plays quite a bit yeah 
Yeah, so there's plenty of us who play. So if anybody has uh, any feedback on uh, if they like that show or not, let me know. But uh, maybe I'll reach out to them. It's always good to reach out to the general Elder Scrolls community. Yeah, I I, I agree totally. Uh, I've I've actually uh, and speaking of YouTube, I've I've found a few fairly recently uh, um, new to me anyway. Um, youtubers that, mm-hmm. that are that are pretty good i i um let's see if i've got there's one one by the name of bonart um and i'm just looking at my unfortunately right now i'm on uh no that's okay so let's see subscriptions um oh come on there we are um Yeah, Bonhart, B O N H A R T. Does a lot of cool um modding videos. Um some good role play. Mm-hmm. Um and then uh there's a guy by the name of uh, Verdict of Odin. Huh. Mostly because he's interesting mostly because he does a lot of um interesting mod videos that are xbox one related oh cool cool yeah so if you're an xbox one player and you want to see a lot of interesting uh xb1 um modding content that's one one place to go he does a lot of uh live streams too um and and some se stuff as well but but if i remember correctly he has a whole series of xbox uh xbox mods oh awesome that's good yeah because yeah, you don't find that as much no no and and uh, um somebody else well one of the people on character crusade by the name of Gemma does does a lot of but i don't think she has a, a youtube site so uh, okay um, unfortunately but uh um who else have i uh recently i think i mentioned william strife on another um podcast i'm just you know looking for cool new content um Mm -hmm. um, cool new skyrim content i mean we're getting we're getting long in the tooth folks we are i know (laughs) Uh, e3's around the corner you never know it is it is it's coming man but Uh, they're not going to introduce yeah we're not going to get anything i know (laughs) it's not happening but hey look until june we have our hopes (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) then they'll be dashed and then we'll wait till next june exactly Uh, (laughs) exactly (laughs) <laughs> Which is why uh, sites like Character Crusade and stuff are so cool because they they're constantly um, keeping it fresh, yeah, keeping it fresh. Exactly. That's the uh, so uh, uh, so yeah. Anyway, those those are a couple of of people to 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 check out. Um, oh, you know, let me just shout out to somebody who's actually part of the Character Crusade crew mm-hmm. uh, that does uh, some really nice content. Um, e. J. Lowell. Um, uh, she doesn't have a lot of subscribers. It's just EJ space Lowell W or L O W E L L. Uh, she does some really good, uh, interesting character content, um, and, uh, imaginative, uh, you know, character creation and stuff like that. Oh, nice. She's, she's part of the character crusade crew. Uh, so go check her out um, and subscribe. Um, so those are my YouTube suggestions for this <laughs> <laughs> for today. EJ Lowell. Actually, let me uh, subscribe to that now. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. Let people get uh, check out because there's uh, at this point it, it's it's so far along in the in the game's life that some of the people who were doing things early on are, are long gone, obviously. Yeah. And moved on to other things. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to see the, the new people pop up. Yeah. And the ones that the, the, the old timers like gopher gopher is doing a new Skyrim SE playthrough. And with all due respect to gopher, um, it's, it just doesn't have the the magic anymore because he's he's trying to play it straight up and some of it's fun and yes he's you know he's created this sort of coin flip 
uh, mechanic that he used. He made a mod for it, and he's doing a, a pure thief, uh, and he's very good at that sort of mm -hmm. stuff and everything. But it just, it's just not piquing my interest. You know, just it's, not worth. Yeah, yeah. It's it's okay. It's well produced, no doubt about that. But I, I, you know, I want to see some really creative, you know, you know, character interesting different characters and yeah. people that, you know yeah find different ways to make things happen in the game that's what that's what makes the game so great is it's just so open ended you can pretty much if you're creative you can do almost anything you want um so yeah um that's why that's why we're still doing this you know 7 years later yeah, yeah exactly uh, <laughs> that is true yeah. oh that is so very yeah. true We'll all play through God of War and say, wow, that was an awesome game and go on to something else. But we'll still keep coming back to Skyrim <laughs> yeah. and, and Oblivion, you know. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, we got to schedule a time for the Oblivion Roundtable, um, the few of us. Uh, it's probably not going to be until June just because of um, Memorial Day and, and, and scheduling in May. Um, with Skyrim 10, 10 AD, it's going to be on the 20th, uh, the next recording se session for that. So... Yep, afternoon of the twentieth. I think three Eastern Standard or Eastern Daylight Time. Pardon me. Um, will be our next our next uh, session of D and D mm -hmm. Skyrim, which is awesome. Colin is doing such an amazing job with that. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so th that kind of knocks out that weekend because uh, spoiler alert: we uh, or behind the scenes alert: we record. Uh, oblivion round table on sundays usually in the afternoon because it just uh we're spanning multiple a lot of time zones <laughs> yeah and and uh i mean that's yeah same thing i mean well fallout feed is recording later tonight so mm -hmm. so we have yeah we have a lot of concurrent stuff going on i yeah. think yeah um and in fact i have to get my butt in gear on my fallout character because i haven't done anything more on it Mine committed suicide after uh, acquiring, oh, no. acquiring the uh, repair bubble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still have to. Yeah, I, my my episode's coming up in June. Sherry and I are going to be on the same episode. So, oh, awesome! That, that'll be fun. Yeah, um, that's a lot of time I, zones I, to cover. <laughs> yeah, that, they speak of time zones. Yeah, totally. Um, and uh, oh, well, Shalene's on to tonight, isn't she? Explosives bobblehead, which is going to. Oh, you have explosives. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got to do some leveling up. I think uh, Shalene's on tonight from uh, um, formerly off the record, now um, GameStack. Yes. Yep. Or we love and also we love games, I believe. Um, yeah, I think she's on tonight. I think that's what I saw. So yeah, always fun times. That's that's cool. too late for me. Ten o'clock. It's just not gonna happen. Me I'm too. Gonna, I'm gonna have to watch it. By yeah. 10, so. <laughs> you know, if I'm not, I'm very tired in the morning. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh well i think that's all i got from this time yeah, so we that have was uh that was a good episode had a lot of content there we got a 10 ad coming up next weekend on the 20th yep. um i believe the live recording will be probably on the patreon page am i correct on that i think that's usually what andrew does or yeah we andrew do we Calvary. do live to patreon and mm -hmm. then we uh it gets put put out uh on this feed much yeah, I had about a three yeah. to four week delay yeah. on on the regular feed. Yeah, because uh, 1080 is one of the sort of the Patreon premium content. Plus, I think it yeah. takes time to break it down and edit it as well. Um, yeah, because D and D games tend to run two to three and maybe even four hours yeah. long sometimes. So yeah, it, it takes a bit of editing to get it get it down to bite yeah. sized chunks. Yeah. Um, so you're getting yeah. the uh, right away that raw version on uh, Patreon then. The audio kind of drops there a little bit later, and then it yeah. starts getting doled out on this feed as time allows. Um, raw, raw with all the screw ups, and Mouse can't roll anything but a you know a natural <laughs> one, or maybe an eight if he's really lucky. You know, oh man, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've rolled a nat twenty yet. Uh, oh really? Oh, no. oh, oh, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor guy. Oh man. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I had. Uh, I think that was it. That was, uh... I might be doing some live streaming oh, this weekend. So if anybody's interested in checking out my uh, my YouTube channel, which, again, doesn't have a, uh, a custom URL, you can find it if you go to my 
my website, the open dot world. I, I may try to do some live streaming if I can keep the game stable uh, for my character crusade character. So, because Thursday's supposed to rain all day, so I'm oh yeah, stay you're inside right. Yeah. Skyrim. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, keep an ear out for the Oblivion Roundtable. Probably, probably June. Um, that'd be my best guess. Uh, so it it'll lag a month is all, and uh, we'll have other stuff coming up. Some lost episodes I'll be filling in and uh that's awesome that you got all that back that's, that's yeah so I'm, I'm so glad i i wanted to repopulate the feed properly but t- to be able to do it, it was just it was impossible so at least i can get them back on the feed this way and they're not mm-hmm. lost forever um yeah. Yeah. i gotta look and see maybe the uh the fallout one should be available too that we uh, that it disappeared so if, if we can start moving them over too that would be great mm-hmm. those early ones um I actually used to be on that show. Um, (laughs) 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 None of those exist anymore uh, currently, uh, but I I think they might be available in um, in, back on talk show again. So I'm going to see what we can do there to get them over too. So uh, there's all that. So, yep. Thanks everybody for supporting the shows, all the patrons really appreciate it. Uh, It helps me pays for the most part for the feeds, which is awesome. And we just, kind of keep rolling with everything and hopefully next time i'll have uh my story all laid out for my breton mage Uh, i'll take a look at a couple of those mods to see how they work out for the uh for that thieves guild angle that's that's the only thing that's a little wonky for me and uh hopefully yeah and i'll i'll try to remember in fact i'll try to do it right away i'll send you uh, a link to an explanation and also just the line that you have to edit in your hosts oh yeah yeah file for anybody who's having who has had trouble with with uh, uh either mod organizer or nexus mod manager over the last few days yeah excellent well that's all we got everybody uh if you have any comments questions or concerns you can email us uh scaramatic podcast gmail.com um and leave a review on itunes uh i guess people still do that i don't know <laughs> i don't know either. i i don't know i don't know how the whole podcast thing works over there anymore anymore anyway so yeah i feel like i go back and forth between apps at this point so and check out all the all the other elder scroll shows everybody it's a it's a nice community of people so it sure give is them all give them all a shout out so all right take care everyone good night all